This is the second section of the SMI online demonstration of the mobile ID integration with OnGuard, demonstrating the access decisions reported to alarm monitoring and handheld operators when an access card is badged on a handheld. We will now invalidate badge 1382 by changing it to a non-active status. When this card is badged, SMI Mobile will request an access decision from SMIhost.net remotely over the Wi-Fi network. SHost.net will report the access denied message back to Alarm Monitoring and it will in turn send that message to the SMI Mobile which displays that decision and um, the card template as designed. This decision is also seen in Alarm Monitoring. We will now invalidate badge 13382 by changing it to active in the future. Badge again on the handheld reader 1 and observe what happens on the handheld and on guard alarm monitoring as before. The design template we, we created earlier had multiple pages. Observe that badge 1382 currently has an unknown blood group demonstrated on page 2. We will now invalidate badge 1382 by changing it to deactive in the past whilst updating the blood group of the cardholder. We will badge again on handheld reader 1 and observe what happens on the handheld and within on guard alarm monitoring. When the card is scanned, access is denied and the inactive badge alarm is shown in the main alarm monitor. Observe the card holder of badge 1382 blood group change in OnGuard has actually been replicated in real time and presented to the handheld operator. We will now invalidate badge 1382 by removing the access level associated with handheld reader 1. Once this is complete, once the card is scanned, SMO Mobile will report no access levels on this reader, access denied message, and this in turn will be seen in the main alarm monitor. We will now invalidate badge 1382 by associating it with an access level outside the time zone of the current Tatum and time. When the card is next scanned, SMI Mobile will report an outside active time zone reader with the access denied message and this in turn will be seen within the main alarm monitoring. We now validate badge 1382 on a handheld reader 1. We can confirm that badge 1382 does not occupy the on site or road checkpoint areas. <coughs> 
Now badging valid card 1382 on handheld reader 1, moving the card holder from the off-site area into the road checkpoint area. We will now badge valid visitor card 7 on the handheld reader 1, moving the visitor from the off-site area into the road checkpoint area. Initially this is declined, however if we change the card to be active on a different date, we can see that access is granted. We can see that badge 7 is a valid bona fide visitor badge.